Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to a, another video. You join me today in Italy. I'm at the home of Ferrari here in Maranello. And you may remember that I was back here back in April as part of my Euro tour. And a fun fact, that is literally exactly where we parked all of the cars. It's really strange to be back here. I'm really sad to not be with the rest of the guys. I'm sure you're all watching now. Um, but yeah, we're here for uh, four days. We're here for the weekend, um, primarily with Ferrari, but we've got some other bits and bobs to be getting onto. But I thought I'd dedicate this video to exploring the hometown of Ferrari. In So I think the only worthy start to the video was of course coming in to the Ferrari Museum here in Maranello. We've got an F50, we've got an F40 and a 288 GTO and an Enzo over there. I'm sure there's going to be a laugh just around that corner but just quickly get out of the way of Chloe's photos. Have a look at these models. I'm a massive geek when it comes to model cars but just have a look at the detail on them. Look at that in there. So cool. I'm in heaven. I am in Heaven. Moving on through then. Ah, as predicted. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. This is quite something. This has completely changed as well since the last time I was here. Of course, the Enzo here. So much F1 technology in this thing. Of course, wearing Enzo's name, of course. Got the engine sat next to it as well. Natural aspirated V12. And the LaFerrari, one of the prototype cars, I believe. And then, of course, the FXXK, the track only version of the LAF. So I don't think I really explained at the beginning of the video why I'm actually here in Italy. I'm here for the Finale Mondiale, which is at Mugello this weekend. I'm going there in a couple of days. Um, but last year, you may remember if you've been subscribed since then, that I went to Monza for the 2018 Finale Mondiale, where I saw that car. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's not a model or anything, it's a real car. And it's just sat here on display. If you look closer, you can actually see some of the rubber marks, which is really cool where it's obviously been raced. But one more thing before we move on. This is the LaFerrari engine. Now, obviously the LaFerrari is pretty well known for having, um, what's well, being a hybrid basically, with a total power output of 963 brake horsepower. We of course have the naturally aspirated V12 up front, and then the high curse hybrid electric system as well. So it makes for a pretty massive block. Um, but yeah, really cool to see the engines next to the cars, really, because it's something which, I mean, you see the top of them, the, the carbon fiber, but you don't see really into the internals and things like that. It's really, really cool to see. But yeah, what a room, what a selection of cars. Moving through then, we have like a, a little atelier section. So this is kind of what uh, the customers see when they go and spec a car. You've got all the wheel options, the leather options, seat options and everything like that. And here, sitting at pride of place, we have a piece to Pilotti. Now this, of course, is the car which only the Ferrari Challenge customers can buy. So you can't really just go in and buy uh, one of these. You can buy a standard one, but not the Pilotti with, of course, this racing style livery. This one is number 51, finished in a TDF blue. One of, I think, four or five colors which you can get for the Pilotti. It's quite a fixed spec. You can't change uh, the livery. You can change the number to your racing number and uh, you can't really change the colour uh, that much either. But look at this, some of the leathers, the period style leather. That's really cool, look at that. And all the stitching colours, steering wheel options, and things like that. Really cool. This is the P80C. Now this is in fact a clay model. You wouldn't really think it would, it pretty much looks like a real car. Uh, so this is like the last rendering of the car before it went into 
production. I say production in inverted commas there because this is a one-off. This is part of the uh, special projects section of Ferrari where a customer would basically design their dream car from scratch, as you can see, some of the drawings up there, and uh, bring it to life, really, with a lot of money and a lot of time and effort. But this is actually the only Ferrari special project, which is a track-only special. I think it's based very loosely off the 488 Challenge. But look at this. Absolute work of art. I actually saw the real car back um, in the summer at the Goodwood Festival Speed. And um, now I've tipped the um, clay model off the list as well. So cool. Special to see all the drawings and renderings of it coming to life as well. Moving away from the road cars then. Also, excuse the lighting, all the cars are red, but my camera really doesn't like it. This is the 2018 F1 car. I don't know if it's the exact car or whether it's uh, just a recreation of, of one of the ones which raced, but I've seen F1 cars and kind of motorsport cars up close before, but it never gets old. I look inside the cockpit, of course we've got the halo, the new safety device. Um, which definitely has saved a few lives, that's for sure. And then we've got the racing suit here, and then we have some of um, Ferrari's original, well actually, Alfa Romeo, um, original races compared to what the safety equipment was like then. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? So, so cool. So do forgive me, this has been a bit of a whistle-stop tour. Um, we are actually coming to the end of the museum now. But look at this, 340mm, some of the older stuff now. Um, but yeah, we don't really have much time. We're on a bit of a tight schedule today. But if you do want to see another video which I've made about this place when I came here back in April, um, then have a look down down in uh, down through my videos and you'll find it. But stunning place, absolutely stunning place. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Fry Museum done. Um, amazing place. Second time we've been there, um, and just phenomenal. Actually, a lot different than what it was when we went in April. Yeah, they change it quite often, don't yeah, they? Yeah, well, so. evidently. Yeah. Um, we've now hopped into our beast of a high car. I look like a, a bright alpha male driving this. It's a Fiat 500. Uh, I'm, I'm loving life. It's not even in a bath. I'm quite ashamed, actually. Um, but we're now taking to the uh, surrounding roads around, um, well, the Ferrari factory, really, because it, it's, it's quite a known fact that the Ferrari like to test their cars um, around the area and it's quite a nice day actually at the moment we've we're scheduled some rain later on today um, but for now at least we'll make the most of it and hopefully see some stuff testing maybe the likes of some pistas sf90s if we're lucky and if we're really lucky we might see some monzas um, anyway well uh is this a thing got sport mode or anything no. so we'll put it in sport mode and carry on but i don't think it has that's well, city steering city steering lovely well that'll do show you the outside of this. Oh look, got Ferrari watch on. That's fitting. White on white with a sick interior. Anyway, this is where we're going to wait. And the Ferrari factory is literally over the top of that hill. Uh, and fingers crossed, they will come around here whilst being tested before going to customers all around the world. I think Ferraris generally get delivered with about 15 kilometers or miles on it. Um, so that's why, because they all come around here, which is really cool and surreal to be back here. Anyway, any time now, chaps. What is that on the back of there? Oh my word, SF90 people. Oh, it sounds good. Wow. Oh, there's nothing like a V12. Still hear it now. <laughs> Another SF90. <laughs> That's two now. Oh my.
So as the rain starts to absolutely throw it down, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from uh, the supercars and hypercars and have a look at this. Now some of you, in fact quite a lot of you, probably know about this car. This car is incredibly famous online. It's owned by Max from Mr. Cylinder on Instagram. Uh, and actually, obviously, I'm visiting here in Modena uh, where he is based and he sent me a message saying, hey look, do you wanna come have a look at the car? I haven't got long, so we haven't, so we can't really do a proper um, feature of the car, but we can at least hear it and speak to Max um, and learn a little bit more about it. But look at this, look at this exhaust, right? This is how he is arguably so famous. Completely one-off custom exhaust. This thing is running like 500 brake, I think it's stage three Revo, and it's got over 50,000 kilometers on it. Mad build, absolutely incredible. Anyway, we'll catch up with Max and learn a little bit more about this. And then here, this monster of an exhaust. Okay, here he is. Dude, welcome to the channel. Thank you for inviting me along to have a look at this. What's up guys? So, um, there's a lot to talk about <laughs> with the car. <laughs> I think we should start this. with the exhaust. <laughs> so what what is it basically? So this is purely aesthetic and I just did it for car meets. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Why not? Mad artist behind it is Mad DP at Mad DP on Instagram and he's just the best. He managed to turn something I had in my head into something real. Yeah. And the rest it's basically a stage three Revo car with a lot of extra goodies on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it has a stage four clutch in it. It has an extra oil sump, extra cooling, mm -hmm. it's got um, all the Revo bits and bobs from the air intake to uh, the maps mm -hmm. and I have a little switch, the fun switch to do burnout. Yes, I didn't know about this, have a little look at so this. So the first burnout that maybe someone has seen, <laughs> yeah, it was definitely. done in dyno mode and I tricked the car to think it was on a dyno doing it uphill but right now I got a USB motorsport Haldex controller and I can put in front wheel drive. Just Mad. For extra Let's have a little fun. look at the, the DAS actually, because look at that. Over 50,000 kilometers. You only had this from what, like a year? Yeah, for a year. <laughs> well, I went everywhere. <laughs> That's what it's all about though, man. That's what it's all about. So this exhaust I think is definitely the highlight and we will hear it very shortly. But should we have a little look around the front, underneath the yeah. bonnet as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah and Big brakes on it as well. Open brakes. Yeah. Front it, and rear. It's basically like a track spec, right? Yeah, it's a track spec, and we like to go around corners here, like <laughs> up the mountains. The Italians are known for their driving. Yeah, we, <laughs> we tend to push the limits a little bit. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Let's have a little look under here. So, look at this. So, speak about what we've got going on under here, because there's a lot. So we've got <laughs> NKG spark plugs, we've got injector for an Aguero 8. Seriously? Very nice, yeah, intercooler. Thank God from Wagner and then see that down there. Right Sick. now I have an old catch can from racing line. I've got a uh, blow off valve, I've got no idea what to make is just a tuner and <laughs> gotta be honest. And then a ATR thirty eight stage, stage three turbo from Revo. Mm -hmm. And some DNA camber plates for the KW coilovers oh, yeah. hidden in here. So Italian police doesn't really see it. <laughs> Crazy. So there we go. What power is it running? Do you know? It's running, should be something around 480. Okay. And if I put an SPS with the 100 octane map, it should go up to 500, 510. Mental. I always speak about, about this, but it's just amazing how much you can tune and modify these. Yeah, um, they're like Lego. Yeah, no, it's mad. You Absolutely just... mad. Anyway, shall we, shall we hear it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky little cold start of this. So you had a, another exhaust on it previously, right? Which was, was yeah, it custom as well? The, yeah, that exhaust was custom. It was just made for pure power. And yeah. It was made by BRS Motorsports up in Northern Italy. Anyway, so as he hops in, we can get a cold start at this beast. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think that's probably all we could get away with without the police coming. Yeah, the police will come. <laughs> and basically the car, it's so loud. That it is ridiculous, I don't know if you can hear. The police hear from... stopped me on Monday and they took away the, there's a booklet that lets you drive around and yeah. big is gonna get, it's gonna be converted back to stock and then modified again because yeah. they're gonna have to do a complete checkup on it. Which is, this actually, is something similar. Italy. Yeah, something similar happens, happens in America, I think, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. In California. I there, but... but anyway, mate, thank you so much for, for letting me come down and have a look at it. What I a car. I couldn't do a launch because I've got <laughs> neighbors. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. No, it's absolutely mad. That exhaust, I, I need it. Are you selling it? <laughs> I want it. <laughs> no, it's absolutely price, crazy. Everything is for sale. Yeah, very true, very true. Anyway, dude, pleasure to meet you, buddy. Thank you and, so much. Um, hopefully, uh, we'll see you again soon in the UK. Yeah, yeah, and I hope you enjoy Modena. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, there's Ferraris everywhere. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, you can thank even you so rent much. Them for nothing. You can even rent them for nothing. True. Yeah. True. I might have to do that. Mind you, not in this weather. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, thanks again. Oh, the weather today is absolutely awful. Anyway, back into the trusty Fiat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that car is ridiculous. It's brand loud. <laughs> you can hear it from in here, right? It's like rumbling the floor. <laughs> like, oh, I do. My foot was vibrating. That car has so much cooling that we had to wait so long for it to warm so up. Long. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, bit all over the place, but that was a very last minute opportunity. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless. If you did, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>